Japan's Prime Minister has announced it'll take up to 20 years to clean up after the Fukushima nuclear disaster. It's the first time the government has attempted to indicate how long the operation may take. Emergency measures are already underway to shut down the reactors to prevent further leaks. The Fukushima plant was ruined when it was hit by an earthquake and tsunami in March. Thousands of people left the area around the facility over safety fears. And now we go to Taiwan, where two Canadian rights advocates are on a book tour to expose forest organ harvesting in mainland China. David Kilgore and David Matas recently had their book, Bloody Harvest, published in Chinese. It provides evidence, they say, that proves the Chinese regime is systematically killing people for their organs. Here's more. Canadian human rights advocates David Kilgore and David Matas are in Taiwan to raise awareness about forced organ harvesting in mainland China. Their book, Bloody Harvest, Organ Harvesting of Falun Gong, was recently published in Chinese. This week, they toured Taiwan to discuss their book. We're hoping through this book tour is to get the message out to the people of Taiwan about uh, the abuse that's happening and, and, and what can be done about it. On Tuesday, Matas and Kilga joined Taiwan's lawmakers in the legislative yuan to discuss their findings. They exposed indirect evidence of Falun Gong practitioners being targeted for forced organ harvesting. Doctors would come into the camps, they would look in their eyes, they would examine their organs with ultrasound and the like, and they were the only people in these camps who were, who were medically examined thoroughly. In 2006, Mattis and Kilgore started to investigate allegations that Falun Gong practitioners in China were systematically being killed for their organs. Their organs were then sold for a high price to transplant patients. The allegations pointed to a new aspect of the Chinese regime's campaign to eradicate the Falun Gong spiritual practice that it started in 1999. Mattis and Kilgore concluded through their investigations that those crimes were being carried out. Since then, they have been raising awareness about the issue. In Taiwan, Kilgore urged health authorities to alert those who may be considering traveling to China for organ transplants. Could you at least recommend to your minister that he put up on your uh, foreign affairs website that if patients go from Taiwan to China, there's a very good chance that they're going to be getting the kidney or the liver of a Falun Gong practitioner who's been convicted of no offense and is simply working as forced labor in a, in a labor camp. Mattis and Kilgore have been invited to speak at various universities throughout Taiwan during their third trip to the island. In 2010, they were both nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize for their investigation into the forced organ harvesting of Falun Gong practitioners. Hello everyone, welcome to Global Government News. Today is Saturday, July 9th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part two of this news bulletin, two of three. Uh, my website is www.ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com. And ddarko2012 uh, is my YouTube channel. You can go on there and check out the playlist and that. Uh, and all, if not most of the links uh, that I cover in these uh, news videos will be included in the video's description on YouTube. So go and check that out. Um, they're um, all in there in the order at, uh, that they were covered. So, okay, so this is a pretty good story to start off with. It was actually part of the uh, first video that was supposed to be with the economy because this th is the new economy. This is the restructuring um, of, you know, basically creating a system of prisoners, prison work. Um, it's uh, private uh, prisons and uh, slave labor. And um, that is the future, just so you know. And so I'm starting to see more and more of this in the news art in the news right now. And we're just talking about China using slave labor and worker camps, um, but also uh, harvesting their organs too. So I mean, I mean, and you talk about if you have debt and then you get thrown into a, a debt a prisons. I mean, phew, it can be in very, it could be a very, very ugly, ugly future, like something out of a you know a movie or something. Uh, Racine County inmates to do jobs previously done by unionized employees. The union that failed the original grievance is not happy. Some unions who did not have a contract in place uh, lost some of their powers. Governor Walker's collective bargaining changes uh, begin to take effect in uh, Racine County. It means inmates doing some of the work unions have previously bargained for. But uh, when you go down in there, you'll see that it actually is, um, it's just uh, picking up garbage uh, on the side of the road and cutting the grass. So it's not a very uh, technical stuff here. 
Um, but uh, it, it does set the precedence right here. Uh, governor uh, in uh, Georgia proposes ex-cons pick fruit and cotton instead of immigrants. So that's the next step. I covered this before, so you can go in there and check that out. I just want to do a follow-up to, to let you know that it's not just going, in, going on in one state. Uh, we have driver handed a 110-pound parking fine while he was stuck in a traffic jam. This is insane. And uh, it says here that uh, Mr. Barham was fined after CCTV camera took a picture of his car in gridlock outside, um, it says here, Gidea Park Station in Essex. He said that it was sent uh, a fine along with a CCTV photo taken from a council camera at 8.22 a.m. on June. And um, so you can go in there and check it out. Just uh, really getting crazy there. It says, uh, if it wasn't for me, your aircraft would be uh, carrying the Nazi swastika. It says here, war veterans victory over uh, Flybe after they charged him an excess fine for his flag. And uh, it says here, a Navy veteran uh, who served on Arctic convoys takes on airline over insulting 60 pound uh, a fine to carry his military standard. So that's what he's holding up here. And he was charged to carry uh, the flag. Um, on an airline. It says here, a gunman rob two banks in northern Nigeria, give money to the poor one. So suspected Islamic militants attack two banks in a police station in northern Nigeria and then gave the cash to the poor in the area, local officials said. Next up, we have this, uh, tax cuts to compensate for carbon tax. And I have another news article on this carbon tax here. Uh, block that out so we can see the full picture. It says here, the federal government has reassured Australians they will be compensated for price rises as a result of the carbon tax and the long-awaited details. It says here, Australians will embrace a carbon tax. Oh, really? So it says, according to a recent news poll, just 30% of the people support putting a price on carbon. So go check that out. It says here, world needs 1.9 trillion a year for green technology. It says UN, the world needs 1.9 trillion in green technology investments a year, with over half of that sum necessary for developing countries. And um, yeah, you know, I've covered this before about uh, an actual member on the IPC, IPCC board um, actually uh, coming out and saying and disclosing what the real purpose of this uh, climate change is, and that is to redistribute wealth um, uh, to poorer countries, but not in a real um, nice, good way. It's just to basically bring uh, um, the rich nations like in the U.S. because we're so rich uh, right now to bring us down and then bring them up. And... Um, it's uh, like I said, it sounds real nice, um, but it really, this carbon tax is going to really be going towards the big banks and to fund a world government. It's not going to be going towards green technology. That money is going to be siphoned and stolen from uh, tax slaves and, uh, and to pay subsidies to big corporations. That's how it's going to really work. And like globalization, the ultimate uh, goal here when you're talking about equaling or, um, yeah, balancing countries is to make us all interdependent on each other and then you need a, a united nations you need a world uh, bank and all that greek loan payment backed by imf buying time and uh, of course they're talking about crafting a second rescue package and averting uh, the first sovereign default in the euro reign then next up uh, u.s taxpayers just paid 780 million dollars to fund the latest greek uh, bailout. The next up, ECB raises Eurozone key interest rate. It has raised the key interest rate to 1.5% as part of its campaign to fight inflation in the battered Eurozone. Next up, uh, U.S. funding for future promises uh, lags by trillions. And it says here the government's financial condition deteriorated rapidly last year, far beyond the $1.5 trillion in new debt uh, on to finance the budget deficit. A USA Today analysis shows. All right, next up, we have White House advisor Austin Goolsby. Uh, it says here, this is not a double dip recession. Okay, because I don't think we actually ever got out of a recession to begin with. I've been saying that for the past year. It says here, burial fees, a surge on high cost, low revenue. The Grand County Cemetery running low on funds is turning to a new revenue tactic, raising the prices of plots and burials as much as 400%. So people are going to do what? They're going to basically get uh, um, cremated in that. Saudi Arabia bribed Germany for tank deal. Again, this tank thing is back in the news. I'm glad I covered it originally. A senior German lawmaker has revealed that uh, Riyadh is believed to have paid uh, bribes to uh, Germany in order to convince it to sign a deal to sell advanced military tanks to the Persian Gulf Kingdom. And uh, Merkel says, uh, basically, she denies it. And another article, boiling frog alert, Congress wants automatic wage deductions to pay down the debt. So there you go. H.R. 2411, the Reduce America's Debt Now Act of 2011. And uh, basically what it's going to do is it's going to, um, every work,
in America should be able to voluntarily have a portion of his or her wages automatically withheld and sent directly to the Treasury Department for the purposes of paying down the federal debt. Hmm. See? Uh, debt camps? Debt prison camps? I see them coming. And then come the FEMA camps. <laughs> Exxon gets a deadline to clean up Montana spill. It says here uh, that they were given two months to clean up the oil from the ruptured pipeline at the along the Yellowstone River as it faces mounting questions about its handling of the accident. Yeah, there's always going to be questions, but they'll never really be liable. They may have a small payout. It says here, Mafia's toxic dumping uh, increases cancer rates, widespread dumping of toxic waste by Mafia clans. The uh, southern region of uh, Campania is causing a dramatic increase in birth defects and cancer, according to a group of U.S. and Italian scientists. All right, and uh, actually, I think it was in Japan the mafia was out there doing some uh, some voluntary work after the uh, uh, Fukushima disaster. It says here, uh, China coal consumption linked to global cooling, and uh, they come up with a possible explanation for the rise of the Earth's temperature. Pause for a bit during the 2000s, one of the hottest decades on record, and um, they're going to call. It, they're going to say it's China's massive coal burning, which is a bunch of shit. I'm sorry, it's just S H I T shit. Uh, there's global cooling. Uh, that's naturally going on, uh, but uh, let's not uh, forget the, sc the global spraying that's going on right now massively, which I believe is raising the, the temperatures. Uh, it says here, UK faces more harsh winters and solar activity dip. Britain is said to face an increase in harsh winters, and uh, of course, what does this have to do? Uh, it says it's based on uh, solar activity. Well, the sun doesn't have anything to do with anything, guys. That's what we're told by the scientists, right? Depends on what uh, channel you're watching in the news. But the sun doesn't have anything. I was watching uh, 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 the news uh, about two weeks ago, and we had a big heat wave here in the Midwest. And I, I, I crap you not, it was talking about you know record, almost record temperatures and the heat wave. And then they said, oh, and then they said uh, it has to do with climate change at the end. And then they went to the next segment, and they covered about 10 seconds of it and said, oh, and there just happened to be a big, humongous solar flare about uh, two days ago. <laughs> and that's it. And <laughs> no, no relation to the heat or anything. So, uh, you know, just... It's just crazy, the double think and uh, double speak that goes on. A British government squanders millions conducting secret GM potato trials while non-GM variety already performs spectacularly. And it says here, Europe paves way for GM crop bans. The European Commission vote on Tuesday opens doors to countries individually banning GM crops. And uh, Monsanto's Roundup linked to deadly diseases and birth defects. Most people have no idea. Elephants electrocuted in northern India. Three wild elephants were electrocuted after they toppled a high-tension electricity line in northern India. Just like that tiger that you saw getting loose uh, in the pictures last week, it actually stumbled upon uh, um, a big uh, wire, a metal wire. It wasn't electricity, but it was a cable line, and it was all cut up, and that was in Russia. U.S. obesity epidemic continues unabated, and of course, that's what? That's just, that's just man uh, encroaching on nature. It says here, obesity rates, and then, they, and then they wonder why the animals come into the city and start mauling people and stuff like that, or for food and that. It says obesity rates in the U.S. climbed over the past year in 16 states, and not a single state reported a decline in the proportion of ex excessively overweight residents, according to a report released on Thursday. And I like to call people that have guts now genetically, uh, GMGs, genetically modified guts. It says here, uh, you know, food that doesn't di digest and just rots your guts and your organs. Prescription drugs cause more overdoses in U.S. than heroin and cocaine. That's why I said that uh, doctors and uh, um, pharmacists are drug dealers. It says here, China to set up food and drug complaint centers. So, yeah, go ahead and line up and start complaining and not a damn thing and we'll get done. Uh, it says here, 1 in 20 women hit by early menopause. Doctors baffled at the rising numbers of under 40s affected. Hmm, really? So Alan Watt talks all about that, women uh, putting off all of their uh, uh, parental duties and having children and all that so they can become uh, successful careers. And then uh, by the time they want to have their, quote, family, they can't even have kids anymore because they're sterile or they're hitting menopause to her. That's all by design. It's called eugenics. Ugandans protest high rate of deaths and childbirth, but that's because what? Uh, they go in the hospital and they get they don't even get any kind of uh, care. They just let them sit there. Too little salt intake during pregnancy inhibits proper kidney development and offspring. Uh, it says here, long-term smokers less vulnerable to osteoporosis, Australian study. It's not all white. The cocktail of up to 20 chemicals in a glass of milk, if you can try to get raw milk, 
do it. It's a lot better for you. Major Grocer uh, getting rid of self-checkout lines. And he said he's doing it to encourage more human contact with his customers. So that's a good sign. Um, please join me in part three of this news bulletin. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.